Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk in the door of my gym. See, I'm now inside because hopefully you can see it, but over there somewhere is where I, that's where I work, right across the street. So this is what you see when you come inside. There's a little front desk, but um, because this is a small um, exclusive membership gym, it's not a big busy place with a front desk and lots of people wearing matching t-shirts and muscle-bound people walking around and sweating all over the place, So, um, which is part of what we like about it. Uh, there's a men's locker room. There's a little bulletin board with lots of information. You get towels and fridge with water and stuff. You pop your dollar in the cup and get a water. Um, as you can see, there's lots of weight equipment, um, which I do use sometimes. I don't. I tend to not use the big machines. I am more of a dumbbell fan, and I do stuff here. Um, Bridget, who's the owner now, has shown me some tricks of some core work I can do using that stuff. So I do have strong legs, so I like to use that machine, and I like to use that machine. And if I'm feeling really brave, I might use that one. Um, there's the bike I'll use sometimes. That's the treadmill I like to get on. And look, there's the TV I like to watch. Hey, there's me. Uh, I'm not a big elliptical fan or that thing, whatever it's called. Um, I'll do it sometimes, it's just not my favorite, so, like, you know, you just got to do what you're comfortable with. Uh, there's some new stuff that's here, but it's just kind of a small, basic, gives you exactly what you need gym. We've got a little storage room that has laundry facility in it, so you know you have clean towels and stuff, and there's all kind of mats and resistant bands and um, medicine balls and that sort of thing. Uh, one of the trainers... Um, is a boxer and she does different boxing classes and groups. Uh, I think she's also a Zumba instructor. Um, so she does some personal training and incorporates boxing into that. Uh, I have not worked with her personally, but I know people who are huge fans of what she does um, and will pretty much follow her anywhere she goes. And we all love our exercise balls. I like the clever way that they're all hung up there. Um, what else? We're going to keep wandering around so you see what it is we do here the ladies locker room close your eyes guys you're not allowed to see this again it's small and it's basic it gives us exactly what we need space to put our stuff down a locker if you need a place to store stuff single user shower because there wouldn't really be a more than single user shower <laughs> hey there's me again um, so it, it's just kind of a nice little space and this is where we come across the street. We'll either go out and run or stay here and get a workout. Um, come in here and get a shower afterwards so that people at work don't hate us too much. And really, truly, especially on a Friday, this is what it's like when I come in. I'm not having to wait for a machine. I'm not having to, you know, worry about somebody who's been gross on the stuff or whatever. Um, sometimes there might be two or three people here at, at lunch hour. I think most people that work out here tend to come first thing in the morning or after work or they work different hours and stuff uh, and one of the best parts of this particular gym is Bridget. Bridget! Go. Say hi. hi! There she is! <laughs> so Brid Bridget's the owner now and she's a personal trainer and she's very friendly and she's full of advice <laughs> and she'll dance and sing for you to keep you entertained and if you don't show up for a few days she'll track you down. Yes. Yes. World's best member, right? <laughs> I didn't even pay her to say that. So um, if you have a gym close by you, don't be afraid to go check it out. And if you're close by this gym, Empower Fitness, you should come and see what it's like and meet some of the members and talk to Bridget and see if this would suit your needs. So don't be scared. Go check it out.